Good morning, Dr. Sam. Good morning, Sam. How are you today? What can I do for you today? Would you please look after the sterilization for me, please? Okay, don't worry. My name is Issam Bishay. I came from Egypt on September 2008. I was a dentist there and I had my own practice for seven years. I'd like to work as a dentist here in Manitoba, but I had to do this work until get recertified here in Canada to, to work as a dentist. I'm lucky to be here, but it's hard to not do what I'm trained to do as a dentist. Yeah, you have nice teeth. I'm sympathetic to some situation because I have been there not long time ago. For sure, I'm encouraging his son to go back to his career. Here in Manitoba, we really need more uh, dentists. Uh, and for someone who's already been uh, educated and developed his own skills before, it is beneficial to get someone like a Sam accredited. It's not easy. The exams, equipment, it costs thousands of dollars. After all that, I need a time of my work to prepare for these exams. And still, I need to feed my family of four. And believe me, it's a long, long journey. He is not alone. There are hundreds of skilled immigrants who are unable to find work in their chosen fields. We see them every day at Seed Winnipeg. Over the last 10 years, many organizations and businesses have worked to bring more skilled immigrants into Manitoba as a part of strengthening our economy. Over that period of time, there's probably been a fourfold increase of skilled immigrants coming to Manitoba. How long have you been to Canada? If we have a house painter or janitor, who has been trained as an engineer in their country, worked as an engineer in their country, but is unable and not given the opportunity to use those skills here, that's a loss for them, their families, and for the Manitoban community. We're working with other organizations to try and make that opportunity real. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the launch of Recognition Counts, microloans for skilled immigrants. Recognition Counts is designed to provide the assistance needed to help immigrants get their skills recognized. This program will provide financial training, career counseling to ensure that each individual has chosen the best career path for them, and it will also provide a microloan. They can use that to pay for living expenses while they're studying for those tests. It can be for tuition, textbooks, or a computer registration with their professional organization, or for the tools and equipment that they need for their trade. So how do we all work together to make sure that folks who bring the skills such as dentistry, medicine, engineering, carpentry, and the whole array of gifts that these folks have brought to our province, how do we make sure that it's easier for them to stay and to contribute to their full ability well, this is one way, is recognizing the gifts that they bring. By partnering with the government of Manitoba and organizations like Seed Winnipeg, we can help internationally trained professionals put their skills to work sooner. We also recognize that internationally trained professionals can help fill skill shortages and can make a very important contribution to Canada's economy and to our overall prosperity. We know these loans will help skilled immigrants like you, Sam, get better paying jobs to support themselves and their families. And we know also that stable families create stable communities, and all of that helps build a more stable province, and that's good for all of us. Thank you. The Recognition Counts program is for skilled immigrants who have already started the process of getting their skills recognized by the governing bodies that regulate their field. We also work with Manitoba START for skilled immigrants who have been here for less than three years or employment agencies who work with them to develop a career action plan. Have you worked on your financial plan to know how much you want to take for the loan? At the point that they're referred to Seed Winnipeg, we provide financial counseling to help them figure out what size loan will I need to get to make it through this process. At that point, we make a decision about recommending them to a Cinnaboyne Credit Union for a loan that can be up to $10,000. Oh, hey Sam, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. This isn't about providing loans. It's really about creating opportunities. How will you use this loan? Sometimes the only thing standing between immigrants like you, Sam, 
and that job that they're skilled to do is having access to the financial services to make it happen. Yeah, thank you. And at the Cinnaborn Credit Union, we are proud to be partners and to be making a difference in the community that we serve. Yes. So, all this is looking at me. This is for me, Abnoma. Usually I'm looking only on one face, especially in his mouth. <laughs> this is because I'm a dentist. Now I feel with this loan, I can go back and practice dentistry here in Canada. I love to be a dentist here, of course. Really, everybody here was incredible, was wonderful to me. Thank you for all these people. Thank you. Thank you.